arrived in 2019. This is the tolerant left right You're here. You're not videotaping. Yep. If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, then I'm sure you know by now what kind of treatment I receive in public for being a conservative with a large online following. I've been kicked out of the mall after a girl took a photo of me in Victoria's Secret. Do you mind if I take a picture of your badge? Let's just leave. We're just gonna right, we're just... I've had the cops caught on me for simply walking onto college campuses. I've been kicked out of Democratic rallies for sitting down minding my own business. Did I violate any rules or anything? Ma'am, I ask you one more time, if you do not leave now, I'm going to turn over the wall. And as I'm sure all of you know, I've been assaulted and harassed repeatedly. Criminalized being gay. Appreciated. Now, back up! Dude, stop! Dude, don't touch me. Do not touch me. What? If you've missed any of these, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go through all of our past videos to see what we go through on a daily basis. Now I want to tell you a story about what happens when a conservative forgets politics for a day to go to a baseball game with her fiance. Now I don't know much about baseball, but Justin is a big fan and wanted to go to the Home Run Derby since it was here in Cleveland. The night started out fun and we even got on ESPN as soon as we arrived in the ballpark. And like I said, even though I know nothing about baseball, it turned out to be an incredible event with tons of home runs. Immediately after the derby ended and Justin was celebrating the Mets player winning, the stand started to clear out and a beta male a few rows back spotted me and began to cuss me out. Watch. This is how men act in 2019, come to a baseball game and they have to yell. Acting like they're idiots, beta males, look at this. Who's he talking to, his mom? Who's he FaceTiming his mom, telling him he finally talked to a girl? This is embarrassing. Sad, liberal men, look at who he's sitting next to, his butt buddy. Wow, all right, I see why he's mad. I see why he's mad, he's gotta go home with that every night. As we walked down the stairs to leave, Justin told an usher that this guy was harassing patrons. So what did the usher do? Stared at the kid and did absolutely nothing. But the story gets better. A few minutes later, as I'm walking into the bathroom to make sure this kid doesn't follow me out of the stadium, a group of college age girls recognize me and yell, oh my God, is that Kent State gun girl? So at this point, I'm like, great. They're gonna follow me and harass me in a freaking bathroom. But instead, they all stood outside the bathroom door waiting for me to come out. And that's when Justin stepped in. And now Justin has stepped in. And so I'm just standing outside the bathroom waiting for her and I notice that this group of three girls is just waiting there and they're talking about her and her specifically. Then the group starts to leave and I notice that it's just one girl left and I'm texting Kate and she's like, can I come out yet? And I just see one girl and I'm like, yeah, it's fine. But then I notice that she has her camera app out ready to record because this happens everywhere we go. So I noticed that she is ready to do something when she comes out of the bathroom and then she's talking to some other guy. So at that point I'm like, okay, she's gonna harass her when she comes out of the bathroom. So at that point, I open up my camera app so that I can capture anything if something happens and I go up to them just to alert them, if you're gonna do anything to her, I'm going to get an officer. At which point when they notice I'm recording, they smack my phone out of my hand and it probably goes flying a good five or six feet and by the time I pick it up, they're nowhere to be found. Uh, if you're waiting for my fiance to come out so you can harass her, I'm gonna go get a police officer. So you can step out, okay? Okay? Walk that way or I'm gonna get an officer. Please walk that way or I'm gonna get an officer because I know what you're about to do. I know you're gonna harass her. I heard you talking about it. You were gonna harass her. I know you were gonna harass her, right? Right? I know you're gonna harass her, okay? For what? Okay. If I see her ass, I'm gonna get an officer. Okay. And do what? Okay. So I can put you in handcuffs freedom and take speech, you away. Freedom of speech, freedom of guns. What's your difference? If you harass her, I'm gonna get an officer. What's okay? the difference? Okay. It's her fiance. Okay. Your okay. difference is trash and she. You can stay away from her. I'm gonna get an officer. Oh, you like? You can stay away from her. You 
can't get away. Oh, I'm get so away. scared you're gonna get a million down there. Yeah. This is the tolerant left right you're here. You're gonna videotape me. Yep. The perfect thing is, I say, look the tolerant left, and then boom, hits the camera. Pretty incredible, right on cue. <laughs> It's like it's programmed in them to act like this. As soon as we bring it up, their hypocritical behavior <laughs> towards conservatives, and they aren't so tolerant. This is the tolerant left right You're here. You're gonna videotape me. Yep. This is the tolerant left right yeah. here. And we thought maybe it broke the screen. It did actually break the case. Um, we're gonna have to get a new case for the phone. But this just goes to show, I had nothing to do with politics that day. I was there watching baseball. They see me get so mad that I'm alive, that I'm breathing, that I'm in the, this vicinity that, you know, it has nothing to do with politics. They're just mad that I'm out there living a real life, not letting them bother me. I'm honestly surprised they didn't follow me into the bathroom because that's how drunk and stupid these girls were acting. Which is probably another point that we should add is, you know, they already commit one crime by hitting my property. I'm willing to bet that they were underage drinking at that baseball game too. Just, just an assumption there, but you know, <laughs> it's a very strong assumption to have. So the point of this video wasn't to complain about what happened to us, but to instead show you guys how unhinged the left has become, that this type of behavior has become normal to them. When I can't even go to a baseball game without getting attacked for being conservative, you know something is severely wrong with our culture. And the funny thing is, this won't make the news anywhere. Except for InfoWars and Liberty Hangout, of course. Every time I'm attacked, no one reports on it. In fact, the media spent more time talking about how they thought Jim Acosta losing his White House press credentials was an attack on journalists than they did about conservative journalist Andy No suffering a brain hemorrhage because of Antifa. This type of behavior has become so widely accepted by the left, and I believe it's only going to get worse as we head into the 2020 election. I want you guys to leave a comment below if you've ever experienced anything like this in public for being a conservative. I want to help tell your story and get the truth out there, but I cannot do that without your support. If you want to help me be able to keep going out and making videos that expose the intolerant left, I need you to visit InfoWarsLife.com and get the best supplements out there to help you start living a healthy life today. You're already buying vitamins anyway, so why not get them from InfoWarsLife.com instead so you can help me keep traveling the country to produce content you love. I also want to start hiring security for when I attend rallies and do street interviews, so if you want to help me be able to do that, please join my Patreon at Patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. If you sign up, not only will you be able to help keep me safe from all these nasty threats, but you can receive super cool perks such as shoutouts, autographed photos, and even have your name in the description of every single YouTube video. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell.